How's it going, guys? Nearly identical question shows up on one of the offline NBME forms for step one. No excuses. You need to know your diabetes meds. I'll keep this clip real fucking clean and concise, not waste our time. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, a man underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. 59-year-old woman with type 2 diabetes mellitus. She's commenced on a thiazolidine and the question just wants to the mechanism of action. Let's just walk through the answer choices here. Choice A, decreased absorption of glucose by the intestine. Wrong fucking answer. This refers to alpha-glucosase inhibitors, i.e. miglitol and a carbose. They cause diarrhea as a result. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, decreased production of glucose by the liver. Wrong answer. This refers to metformin, which has a vague mechanism of action, quote, decreases gluconeogenesis, increases glycolysis. That's what USMLA wants. You need to know metformin causes lactic acidosis. If you see low bicarb in a question with patients on metformin, you're going to discontinue the drug. Also, don't give to patients who have renal insufficiency slash increased creatinine. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, decreased reabsorption of glucose by the proximal convoluted tubule. Wrong answer. This refers to the SGLT2 inhibitors, i.e. dapagliflozin causes glucosuria as a result, increases risk of yeast infections. Wrong answer. Choice D, increased insulin secretion by the pancreas. Wrong answer. This refers to a myriad of agents, the highest yield one being the sulfonylurea class, such as gliburide, also the, the meglitonide, such as repaglinide. Those are going to inhibit the ATP-gated potassium channel in the beta islet cell. It keeps potassium within the cell, increased positive charge, depolarization, calcium influxes into the cell, Insulin effluxes, the vesicles efflux as a result. So they're insulin secretagogues. You can also know this refers to exenatide, which is a GLP-1 analog. Just memorize it. GLP-1 will increase insulin secretion and also can refer to the gliptins, such as linagliptin, okay, which will inhibit DPP-4, which is an enzyme that breaks down GLP-1. And as I just fucking said, GLP-1 will increase insulin secretion by the pancreas. A myriad of agents. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Should I see increased uptake of glucose in adipose tissue and skeletal muscles? Correct answer. Thiazolidine dions, quote, increase insulin sensitivity, decrease insulin resistance by agonizing PPAR gamma. Okay, they can cause hepatotoxicity, cardiotoxicity, weight gain, edema. Nothing dramatic, nothing crazy. Okay, we're just whipping through slash regurgitating mechanisms of action of various diabetes meds. You have to just do your mileage, put it in the clockwork. Okay, nothing crazy. Just memorize the diabetes meds, no fucking excuses. You know the deal, I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.